In this video, I'll show you how to download and install Overwatch 2 on your PC for completely free. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. We really do appreciate it. And make sure you watch this video right until the end to so the full steps. And let's get right into this video. Here we are on my desktop and let's go and get right into this. So the first thing I want to quickly know is that you can't go and find Overwatch on sort of platforms like Steam. As you can see, I searched for Overwatch and nothing is here. This is because Overwatch has its own launcher and it's for a specialist launcher and I'll show you how you can go and get that. So the first thing you need to do is come to a search engine just like I am on Google right now and what you need to do is go and search for something called battle.net. So go and type it in just like so, here we are. And this is called Blizzard Entertainment, so go and tap on it just here and make sure it's the official website which is battle.net and then wait for it to load. And once you're on the website, you need to go to the top right and as you can see, there is this option here for download battle.net, but I recommend going and create an account because it's a lot easier to go and create an account in your web browser than once you've downloaded it. So tap on my account and then just go and press login if you've already got an account or go and click on create a free account if you don't already. Personally, I've already got an account, so I'm gonna go and tap on login. So once you've created or logged into your account, and all you want to do is go and press on download battle.net. After you've signed in, you may go and be forwarded to the Blizzard website, but it's exactly the same. They sort of merge battle and Blizzard, it's the same thing. Um, so either way, just make sure you go and click on download battle.net. And here we are, as you can see, it says all your games in one place, and it's now being downloaded, and the setup file is now being downloaded. Now, every browser is slightly different in how it goes and downloads files. For example, with Google Chrome, it goes and puts your downloads at the bottom. But if it doesn't, and you can't go and find your downloads, then all you need to do is go and open up the file explorer, and then go to your downloads folder there. So let's go and run this. I'm gonna go and drag this onto my desktop just so I can show you guys what's happening. But as I said before, you may probably will need to go to your downloads folder. Let's go and double tap on this just like so. And you go and get a Windows Cootie pop-up. Unfortunately, I can't go and record that. And then you need to go and choose your install location. Personally, I'm going to go and change this because I want it on my hard drive. And then once you're ready, go and tap on continue. And then it's gonna actually go and install battle.net. So you can go and sit back and relax while it does this. And then once it's installed, it's going to go and open up and you need to go and log into your Blizzard or Battle.net account. And here we are, I've now signed in and it's given me this option to go and scan for games, but for now I'm gonna go and close off of this and close off this again, and here we are. And as you can see on the left-hand side, we've gone and got this option for Overwatch 2, and because it's quite popular right now, they're sort of pushing it a lot. So all you need to do is press play for free. However, if Overwatch isn't appearing in the left-hand side, then all you want to do is press on all games, just like so, and then you're gonna have Overwatch 2 here, or you can go to the shop and then you can go and search for Overwatch in here as well. For example, Overwatch and then go and search for it. Here it is, Overwatch 2, so go and tap on it and it's gonna go and load and then all you want to do is press play for free and then it will take you back here and you press play for free and as you can see, we can now go and install it. So you need to go and choose where you want it to be installed, the install location. I'm gonna go and change that and then you can go and choose the languages you want as well, which I'm gonna go and keep actually. And then after you've pressed start install, you can see in the bottom left that it's now installing and you can go and see the current progress as well. And you can also go and press on the options to go and have some other things as well. And then all you need to do is sit back and relax and wait for it to download. I'm pretty sure it's around 25 gigabytes. So it is quite a big download, but it's definitely worth it. It's such a great game. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing. Leave a like for more. Peace.